And now to President Trump's first 100 days in office. President Trump welcomes the Prime Minister of Italy to the White House today. This comes as his administration deals with the threat of a nuclear North Korea and says it's considering new sanctions against Iran. CBS4's Henna Daniels reports. Greeted by traditional dancers at the president's palace and drums during a visit to the largest mosque in Indonesia, Vice President Mike Pence pledged to boost defensive and diplomatic relations with Jakarta's leaders. And of course, one of the greatest threats we face is the rise and spread of terrorism. Tensions over North Korea's nuclear program have dominated the vice president's 10-day overseas trip. Yesterday, Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the U.S. wants to force North Korean leader Kim Jong-un to the negotiating table. We're reviewing all of the status of North Korea, both in terms of state sponsorship of terrorism, as well as all the other ways in which we can bring pressure to bear on the regime in Pyongyang. Back at the White House, the Trump administration is trying to clear up questions after the president said last week that a U.S. aircraft carrier was racing towards the Korean peninsula as a warning. We are sending an armada, very powerful. But the USS Vinson was on a training mission and heading in the other direction and is now headed to the region. The president said we have an armada going towards the peninsula. That's a fact. It happened. It is happening, rather. The White House also said yesterday it is considering more sanctions against Iran and will conduct a 90-day review of the nuclear deal. Anna Daniels, CBS News.